Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Um, so I want to get this message out before um, anything happens. I don't know what's going to happen next, I well, or when it's going to happen next, but I just feel this urgency. I was going to try to put this out this morning, and my house was so loud, and... Um, uh, I just had a migraine later on, but I'm going to try to share this with you, what the Lord showed me last night in a dream and a vision. So in this dream, I was looking at um, a computer screen, and I have this um, app that I'm using, and I use it to do my thumbnails for my videos. Now, I was looking at the screen of this app and <clears throat> excuse me I'm sitting out in my car right now because it's quiet and it's raining but um so I'm looking at the screen in my dream and the app is up and it is pasting pictures like I'm designing a thumbnail and at the top I see the words broken lambs broken lambs and I become aware that um, this is a video that I'm going to be doing that the Lord wants me to do and then I wake up <clears throat> out of the dream and I still have my eyes closed and I'm laying there and I'm thanking the Lord for showing me that and then I begin to ask him well I mean what what is a confirmation um i mean lord what am i supposed to talk about in this broken lambs um could you give me you know a confirmation or uh a scripture um just to start with you know so i can get started uh you know what do you want me to show uh during this video and i began to see a table uh, in front of me, I was looking down at a table and I seen, oh, sorry. I saw, I saw you guys. <laughs> like I said, I'm not, I don't articulate things very good, but I saw a, a, a scripture. It was Galatians three. It was spelled G A L three. And I knew it represented Galatians. And then um, I pondered that for a minute. I was I was getting excited. I was like, I wonder, you know, I think that's about um, uh, grace and law right there. But I'm not, I wasn't positive. And then I seen uh, the name Paul Begley written out next to it. And it faded away. And I, my eyes were still closed and I was sitting there thinking about it. And I was thinking... Okay, all right, so I'm going to be doing this uh, video with uh, Broken Lambs um, as the title. And I was just shown Galatians 3 and Paul Begley's name, okay? So I laid there for a little while. I got up, I made some coffee, and I sat down, and I went, I started scrolling through my phone. Um, on my, not the suggested videos, but on the, you know, on your feed for the people you're, um, subscribed to. And I seen a video from Paul Begley and I was reading it and it said, America does second strike or goes, or America is something about a second strike. And America, like a fleet, I, I it was like a quick vision because I knew that the video I was looking at, it was talking about that America is sending a <clears throat> like a legion of ships out and it's going for the second strike. And um, I started getting all like, oh my goodness, this is it. Okay, world chaos. Because what Putin said, if America goes and strikes us again, I will create world chaos or strike Syria again. I will create world chaos. 
so um, I was getting ready to um, watch it. And then, well, I got uh, sidetracked or I, I even started telling my husband, I was like, oh my goodness, um, on this video, I haven't, I'm going to watch, I'm about to watch it. But America right now, as we speak, is going in for a second strike and Putin just warned the world that if America did that, that, that it would be total world chaos. And then I was talking to him and talking to him and then Sherry called me. Okay. So I was telling her about my dream and everything, and I went back to look for the Paul Begley video, and it was nowhere to be found. It wasn't even an old one. It, w it had vanished, you guys. And then I realized that I had a vision, a waking vision. I was awake, and the Lord showed me this in my phone, that he had put out a video, but he really didn't. This is what's going to happen. He's going to put out a video about America, I guess, going in for a second strike, because this is what I've seen in my vision, okay? And um, so even then, I was like, well, maybe it was an old video. It got lost or something like that. What's going on with Paul Begley? I don't know. Um, here I'm supposed to be doing a video with two meanings. One is something's about, you know, more America's not done. This is going to keep happening. And then he's re the Lord's referring, the Holy Spirit's showing me Paul Begley is going to do a video and it was about something about America's fleets and a second strike and, and, uh, broken lambs and, <laughs> uh, Galatians three. And so here I'm trying to put all this together. And then, um, or right before Sherry called, I looked over and I seen a popcorn bag on our coffee table and it said act two. Now, before this, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, let me get it straight. Um, so then I'm looking at the, the vision I'm having. I just have this vision of this video that Paul Bagley is going to put out. And then I remember this dream that I had about being, watching a movie theater screen where in the old time movies, it used to do three, two, one, beep. And then the movie would play. Well, in my dream that happened, it said three, two, one, it beeped and then I started seeing um, Middle Eastern people sitting in in holes. They had dug holes, and there was probably like, I don't know, maybe anywhere between three. There was tons of them. I was looking over them, uh, these holes, with these people taking shelter in these holes. Some of them were sideways. Some of them were standing up, and they were looking up. They were holding on to each other. And um, they had created these holes to hide in. Some were shallow, some were deep, but they were trying to have protection from what was coming. And I know they were Middle Eastern people. And so I reflected back to that. And then I looked at the table and my eyes came into focus. And I realized I was looking at a popcorn bag that said Act 2 on the side of the bag. And it said, caution, steam, and hot oil uh, will burn you. You guys, and then I remember a dream that I had this last, uh, I don't know, months ago about a nuclear explosion that had happened and there was this little girl and she had this shirt made of popcorn and I was trying to wash her hair with clarion, uh, oat and honey shampoo and, um, you know, now I realize that this, this little girl, you know, she represented uh, an unbeliever, someone that didn't believe in Christ, but I was trying to condition her hair with clarion. What's the clarion call? It's something, you know, you tell people, you sound the alarm <laughs> and the oats and honey represents the Lord. Um, so I remembered that. And then another part of that dream, these three kids were drinking out of three bowls or these three men, young men were drinking out of three bowls. And I heard a voice tell me the name of the bowl they're drinking out of is Selena. <clears throat> and I was standing in a city that was just rubble. It was nothing left. So, yeah. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. And I was looking up the broken lambs. And, 
you know, that's going to be a part two because I have to do a study on it. But mostly what the Lord's trying to say is I am the lamb. You know, there's people that are all, all over this world and they are caught in um, a religion, a doctrine that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross and his grace and mercy and his love. And um, there are so many people that are lost. Um, they're unbelievers. <clears throat> and the Lord is trying to give out a call that, you know, accept me. Accept me right now um, because I am the door. Any other way is like, you know, you're thieves and robbers. And um, so let me do this. Let me get to my thing here. Um, let's see. So a lamb, the definition of a lamb is a newborn sheep is an example of a lamb. Uh, the meat, an example of a person who is a lamb is someone who is very gentle with a new baby. A person who is tricked into giving money to a stranger is an example of someone who is a lamb. Um, uh, someone who is easily fooled because of inexperienced. So we have all these people out here and they're looking for God and they're looking for God. And the gospel is just so easy and so simple and so light. And they're just taking in all this other doctrine and gospel that does not lead to, to life. It doesn't lead to Jesus. And remember I was told, um, like a week or so ago, uh, the only way into the kingdom of, of heaven is through Jesus. And it's true. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There, There's no other way into heaven but belief upon Jesus Christ. And this is where Galatians 3 comes in. <clears throat> I'll have to read it to you guys, but um, in a part two, because I'm out in the car and I'm really cold. Um, and... Um, but anyway, so that's that's a whole nother study, a part two. Um, I just wanted to get this information out to you guys. And um, just in case something happens, I don't know. I don't know how soon this is going to be or when it's going to happen. But, um, you know, just keep looking up because the kingdom of God is at hand and he wants us all to, you know, there's people that are listening to this right now that they're not sure how to be saved. And the only way that you can be saved is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You repent. That means you change your mind. You come to this revelation that you are a sinner and you need a Savior. And there's nothing that you can do uh, in your, your filthy flesh to make yourself righteous. And also, too, Jesus, he, uh, when he died on the cross, his bones were not broken. His legs were not broken. And it fulfilled the Passover. Um, talked about in Numbers, when they put the blood um, of the lamb over the doorpost. Um, they were told not to break the bones then, too, of the lamb. And when Jesus died on the cross, he... His bones were not broken because he had died sooner than the, than the two thieves. So there is a big teaching and a symbolism in this. Um, anyway, that I'm going to try to do tomorrow, I guess. But I love you guys and um, God bless you guys.